Hello everybody, Eastwood here, and welcome back to some more Project Zomboid. Except, we're dealing with sprinters. Oh crap. <laughs> Is that a good way to start the episode out? So, uh, our character died. Spoilers, if you hadn't seen last episode for whatever reason. This is a new character. We spawned in. Some alarms went off. And uh, now we're going to die. And that's pretty... <laughs> I pretty much caught you up. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Like, yeah, we're, we're, we're like, we're literally dead. We're dead as hell. Like, look at this. We're dead. Watch me. This is how you die in Zomboid. If any of you were ever curious how you die, let me show you. Oh, what? Why did I just stop running all of a sudden? Did I get grabbed? I wasn't even tired. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> one hour, one zombie. Good job, Carol. You did really good. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, guys. I don't think we were getting out of that. That's what this series is, is how many times can can I die in a single playthrough? I tell you what. You are Carol the fourth or third. Can I? Should we? Hmm. Here's the thing, guys. Hear me out. Hear me out. Should we? I'm doing this. I'm doing this on the fly here. I'm doing this on the fly. So... Oh. Oh, I have to select all my mods again. What an absolute pain. What an absolute pain. All right, so if I load this one, we can continue. I was going to try to make the zombies weaker cuz I feel like they're just so tough. And the sprinters, they're so difficult to deal with. All right, all right. Are we going to try one more time? Same world. All right, all right. I'll give it one more one more good try here, I guess, on the same world. And then Go on. Oh goodness. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I was like, oh, let's try sprinters for a challenge on Project Zomboid. You know, I can do it. I like a challenge. Oh, this is cool. I've never spawned in an office before. Oh, we got a water dispenser. Cigarettes, hey! I don't know why I should... I, I really shouldn't get excited about finding anything. Because... <laughs> We're just going to die. I'm sorry, Carol, but... You're just going to die. Is there anyone in this building with us? Like I said, depending on how the rest of this episode goes, uh, next episode I may... tweak the sandbox settings a little bit. Uh, are we in the police station? Uh, I may make, like, I still want to play with sprinters, right? But I might make them weaker or something. Or maybe I'll give them bad navigation. Like, we'll make them weak with bad navigation. I, I have to do something, I think, to make them manageable. Because I feel like I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Right? Right? Like, I'm genuinely struggling out here. 
Okay, well, there's the armory back there, which would be, and I mean, nice to get into. Yeah, we spawned in the police station. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know you could. I don't really know if there's anything else in here, to be honest. Other than the armory. Did we spawn with, like, nobody? No zombies around us? Damn. Wish there was at least one zombie we could kill in here so we could maybe find a Kowski. Alright, well, we'll have to come back one day with an axe or something to break that door down. Showers. I'm just being very cautious. I don't know. Oh, that's a good. That's a good get fine. There's two toilets by each other. Alright, this is good. Maybe I'll find a bag in here. What about back here? Anybody? No. A double holster. That's cool. Not that we'll ever live long enough to use a gun. A nightstick! Hey, that's good. Definitely a good find. So, I forgot that they redid the loot tables in the game. So now you actually find a lot of loot, you know, where you would think you would find it. Used to, these lockers would be full of, you know, school bags or just random stuff. But now it looks like, since it's in a police station, it's all police gear. Which makes sense. I like that. I haven't really lived long enough to experience... <laughs> experience some of the new changes. Yep, sprinters are tough. Very, very tough. Another nice day. It's a bad condition one, though. You don't really want that. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, there's a good one. Alright, we'll take two nightsticks and we'll put this vest on, too. It's not a bad find. Oh, if only your sister would have survived. She was about to have a duffel bag. Alright, well, I think... We're pretty much done with the police station. I could just beat on that door forever to try to open it, but I don't know if it's really worth it. To be quite frank with you. I'd like that water dispenser. But we can always come back for it one day. So we're in Rosewood... There's a duffel bag. That would be nice to get. But who knows how many of these zombies are sprinters. Ugh, and we're thirsty already. Jeez Louise. Okay. If I want to make it through this, I really am just going to have to be just so slow. Yeah, you come here, friend. You're the only one who saw me. You come on in. Oh. Bam. Smack. I have to add my own sound effects. Uh, wait a minute. Is that all? Oh, you got a hole in that shirt. I would have worn that. I'm cosplaying a police officer. Okay, so... Oh, we've got some vehicles. We are absolutely surrounded by the undead. Sir, could I, could I get your attention? Either of you. Sir, you seem to be slow. Come join me. You've got something in your back. Bang. Oh. Sounds good. Oh, the way he fell over? That sounded really nice. And we got a meat cleaver? Damn, we're just getting- Oh, we got the key! We did get the key! 
All right, before we get eaten, let's go open up the uh, these locked doors and see what we got in here. I'm like, excited. Not that we have any damn food here. We're gonna have to eventually leave this place. Hell yeah, what do we got? Uh, full auto, cult model 635 PDW. Uses 9x19, and there's a box of them in there. So technically, we have a gun now. Wait, did it have a mag? It did have a mag! So let's eject the mag. Let's open this box. Let's take the mag. Let's insert the bullets. Fast forward a bit. Let's take this mag, insert it. Let's reload. And I think we're good to go. Yeah! All right, we got ourselves a gun. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, goodness gracious, we got even more weapons. Okay, so... I'm on full auto right now. I don't want to take too much stuff, because it's going to weigh too much, and we're just going to be overweight. So that takes ACP, 45 ACP. There's a spe... Oh, that's a shoddy. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, Should we take the shoddy instead of this? But this is lighter. We could always come back for the shoddy. Can I put this on my... Can be mounted on all sorts of stuff, but probably not what I'm carrying right now. Can we put you on our gun? No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, well, hey. There was a little bit of st something in here. And we'll just have to remember this stuff for later. I don't want to pick it up. It's too heavy. As much as I would love to have the Spaz shotgun, I think we're just going to keep this, this little Colt on us for now. Wait, insert the mag. Why is the mag not in it? There we go. Is it racked? Is it good? Do we have one in the chamber? I think so. Okay. Well, now we do for sure. One less bullet than we could have, though. Alright, neat. Did I hear someone beating on something? Hey! This is my... This is where I'm chilling. What's your problem? That glue. Oh man, we already weigh too much. I guess I really don't need the meat cleaver, do I? I've all found in all these cigarettes, but we don't have a lighter. I guess it makes sense that a police station would have a buttload of cigarettes in all the desks, wouldn't it? Still, no lighter. Kind of sucks. Alright, let's see if we can acquire... <laughs> Eat this little radish. It gives us absolutely, like, next to no strength or hunger. So there was a zombie out there with the duffel bag that would have been lovely to get, but I don't know if we're going to be able to, to pull that off. That zombie has a satchel. That guy does. We could probably get that. I'd like to see if one of these vehicles works. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get some of their attention. These guys are walkers. They are not sprinters. I think they've seen me. Oh, he has. Yeah, if I if I want to make it through this challenge, I I gotta get my act together. I gotta get my act together. Hey, bring me that satchel, buddy. Anything's better than nothing, and I got nothing.
Thank you, lady. I really appreciate your cooperation, you know? Uh, that's not a bad jacket, in fact. Aw, uh, it kind of sucks how it clips with the vest. Makes me not want to wear it. Damn it. Yeah, we're not going to wear it because it clips. And it bothers me. But we are going to take this satchel. Yes. And we are going to stick some of our stuff in here. You know, that helped a little bit. We still weigh a lot, but it, it did help. Okay, can we get into this vehicle? Hey, we can. Very nice. Some matches, that's good. Beta blocker. Oh, we actually got a Rosewood map. That is useful. I need to not get too excited. Is there a key in here? No key. Boo. Trunk is already unlocked. Okay. Check that out. Uh, the jack would be nice, but I'm not carrying that on me right now. Let's go ahead and just get this guy's attention. If he's a sprinter, he may just run around real fast. Nope. Looks like we got a bunch of slow pokes around us for now. No key. Fine, though. I need to be careful. We don't know what's on the other side of this building. You know, I said we wouldn't be staying at the police station, but the fact that it's surrounded on all sides by a fence... It's not necessarily a bad place. You really only have to fortify, what, this door over here and then the front? Not too shabby. If we were really, really careful, we could maybe stay here. More beta blockers, another rosewood map. Oh, there's a handgun. Did I drop it outside? I did. It's CZ-75 pistol. Hey, that's cool. Oh, no mag, though. That kind of sucks. We'll take it. He's tough. You were a little bit tough, guy. Uh, yeah, we're heavy. Pistol was pretty heavy. Pistol and this nightstick I'm carrying around. No keys, though. And we're hungry and thirsty. At least we've got a water dispenser. Uh, I don't know what kind of place that is. There's sprinters over there, though. There are a lot of ways in here from the front, and I don't like that. I don't like how much we weigh already. I could leave behind a nightstick, but I'd rather not. I guess I could just drop this pistol in here for now. We really don't need it. And we don't have a mag for it anyways. I'd have to take the mag out of my... Colt, and it uses 9x19. So yeah, I could I could get rid of the Colt and use the pistol. Uh, but I'd rather not. I'll keep what I got. Oh, hello. That lady sees me, apparently. Uh, is there a way to let you in, ma'am? I'd rather you not break that. Let me go around real quick. Oh, well, never mind. She already broke the damn thing. I should have closed that door behind me. Oh, that guy's got a gun. Let's go get him. The 
If we could fortify the front of this place, I really feel like it's not that bad, right? Uh-oh. I say that, there's people like, busted in on me. I heard another something break. What else broke? I heard it. I heard something else break. Don't play with me. Okay, so they had a spaz too. We'll drop that. They had a good vest, we'll drop that. Does the spaz have a mag? It does have a mag. Okay. No lighter though. Still no lighters on anybody. Uh oh. Well come here. Come here, I got it. I got you. I got this. We got this. We're not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Yeah, we got this. For now, we got this. It's funny, because I was getting so many watches. I was getting so many watches earlier, and now, like, no watches. So if I did want to spend the night here, where am I going to stay at in here? Like, back here? Can I sleep in the cells? Oh, technically I could. It's bad sleeping quality though. But I'd be safe. What's back here? The control room. The master control room. <laughs> Can't do anything with this except take it apart. Who's out here? So see, we're, we're pretty protected on most sides. He's going to go around. I think he saw me. Yeah, I kind of like I kind of like where we're at right now for the time being. It's not too bad. It's safe ish. <laughs> Emphas emphasis on the ish part. Uh, that guy went around, didn't he? He's going to he's going to come try to find me. In fact, he's probably inside. Yeah, I hear him. He's walking. Where is he? Where is he? I know he's in here. Well, he's in here somewhere. Pretty sure he's in here. Where are you, you jerk? Ah, well. Okay. Take a peek out here one more time. So we can't take any of these vehicles, although it would be nice. I wish we could. We can't. There was a person with a duffel bag around this corner. You watch, I'll end up dying like this last few minutes of this freaking episode. I really would like to get her attention. If I could. There's the firefighters. We got sprinters down there. Running around. Look at them. They just... And they book it. They cover some distance. Ah, hell. Let's just get over here where we know we're relatively safe. Bring it on. Give me a lighter. Man, they are really generous with these road, rosewood maps. I'm just trying to decide where I want to go. I'm thinking up that direction, maybe. I've got so many cigarettes and no lighter. That makes it a little bit sad. A 
Let's see what's over here behind this building. There's a duffel bag guy. Oh, there's a big old nasty group of them. Let's see if we can at least get duffel bag, man. I'd like to have a duffel bag more so than a satchel, right? So we'll use this fence so no one come up behind us. And we'll be vigilant. Lighter, please. Anybody? I would like one. Sir, bring me your duffel bag. I am in need of a carrying device. <laughs> I really do need to start, like, learning when I need to run. Honestly, if it's more than two, I just, I should run. I shouldn't... I shouldn't be tempting fate, you know? He's got a pencil. Yeah, we'll equip that duffel bag on my back. And I want to place the satchel on the ground. And I want to loot everything out of my satchel. And then I want to put my satchel in my duffel bag. And now all is right in the world. All right, cool. Uh, I really don't want to screw with any of them up there, to be quite frank. I need a lighter badly. Are these guys sprinters? That guy's a sprinter. What? What the hell? That was stupid. I also accidentally hit V and got rid of my HUD. He bit me! Wait, did he bite me? Am I bit? No, I'm scratched and bleeding. Oh, and I don't have anything to heal myself. Uh, sir, can I... Can I rip your clothing? Uh, bandage, please. Sloppy. So, so sloppy. Oh, crap. It's kind of hard to hit them when I'm beside the fence like this. It kind of messes with my view a little bit. That's my excuse. Ew, dirty rags, but Get some more sheets just in case. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we're all right. I think we're okay. Let's... We fall back. I don't know what time it is. It looks like it's getting sunset. Yeah, let's try to end it on my character being alive. I guess this is where we're gonna have to live for now. It's uh not the best, is it? Stick the milk in the fridge, the mutton chop in there. We can use the uh, microwave to cook the mutton chop. I hear some zombies. Are we not safe? I'm closing that. Do I hear a helicopter? I feel like I hear a helicopter. I know I have a mod that changes how the helicopter event works. That sounds like there's a helicopter coming. Or it's in the distance or something? There is. I hear one. I don't know what the mod I downloaded does exactly, how it changes the helicopter event. Fifteen zombies killed. Favorite weapon, nightstick. Yep, there's a helicopter out there. It'll be interesting to see what that does to the zombies and where it pulls them to. But, I'll mess with that next episode. <laughs> oh, I'm having a rough time, guys, with this challenge. I am having fun, though. It, it is it is making me be so much more careful than I used to would be, you know? 
Um, it's not to say zombies aren't difficult to deal with, but I mean, when you make them sprinters, it just adds a whole different element to the game. You don't have near as much time to prepare. You have to constantly be aware of your surroundings, even more so than usual, uh, because you just don't have any time to react. So I'm going to hold in there. I'm going to keep trying to play with, with what we've got. But at some point or another, I may tone down their navigation or maybe I'll to tone down their overall health, right? So that way, if I do get two or three zombies on me, uh, maybe I'll have a better chance of actually killing them uh, because... So far in my experience, if I get if I get more than two on me, it's not looking so good. <laughs> maybe if I could get better established, you know, get some better gear, maybe level some weapon skills, maybe it wouldn't be so difficult to deal with. Uh, but yeah, as of now, still struggling a little bit. So if you guys have any words of advice, feel free to comment down below. If you enjoyed what you saw, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. And if you wanna see more, Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.